Landing pages are some of the most valuable assets that any business can have. These pages are custom built, to convert your visitors into leads by delivering personalized and highly relevant offers that they find valuable. Unlike your other pages on the site, landing pages are typically specific to a single marketing campaign or initiative. Since these landing pages are tailored to customer interests, using them in your marketing strategy is crucial. The average landing page conversion rate across all industries today stands at a measly 2.35 5%. But with optimizations and best practices, you can look to boost these numbers to 10% and higher. And it's almost a 500% increase in performance. Landing pages play a big role in the marketing activities here at Grow Tribe. Our main landing page builders are Instapage and Webflow, which both offer us a lot of flexibility, templates, and speed in launching pages for our various marketing campaigns. And at the time of this recording, we've designed over 200 different landing pages on topics from growth, to data, to UX design and leadership. We've learned a lot while building these pages and we'd love to share some of our tips and best practices with you. My name is Neil and I'm a growth manager here at Growth Tribe. And these are our tips on how you can build a high converting landing page today. Types of landing pages. Did you know that there are many types of landing pages that you can make? Typically, these can be broken down into 13 different types. Today, we're going to focus on the squeeze, lead capture, and paid advertising landing pages, as these are some of the most popular pages that businesses tend to use to generate leads. The first page is the squeeze page. A squeeze page is a type of landing page that marketers use to collect only email addresses from their visitors. You generally persuade or squeeze your visitors to give you this information by presenting them with a special offer, gating valuable content, or restricting access in some form or manner. The most common type of squeeze page is gated content or a prompt to enter your email address to receive a newsletter, ebook, white paper, or another content offer. Squeeze pages are typically short and only consist of one to two form fields. Our second page today is a lead capture page. A lead capture page is similar to a squeeze page, but it generally sources more information from the visitor and can vary in length. Personal name, business name, email address, job title, and industry are just a few things that these landing pages typically seek to find out. Our third landing page today is the paid advertising landing page. A paid advertising landing page is a standalone web page that you intend to use in a paid campaign on Google, Facebook, Twitter, or similar. It's a dedicated page where visitors land after clicking through on a pay-per-click ad. Generally, the landing page is the second touch point a user will have, so it should be a continuation of the story you have already begun to tell in your ad. Now that you know the differences between these three types of landing pages, and I've seen some examples, let's dive into the anatomy of a successful landing page. The anatomy of a successful landing page. Let's walk through each key section, and I'll give you some tips on how you can optimize each of them. The first section is our header, which consists of our headline and subheadline. The attention span of users is incredibly low, and it's dropping day by day. You have to convince users to be interested in the rest of your page with the headline. Make it bold, snappy, and to the point. Your headline and subheadline need to complement one another. In the headline, you should clearly state your value proposition and the key benefits that your product or service provides to your users, whereas the subheadline should evaluate just how you're gonna deliver this value. CoSchedule offers a free tool which helps you to see just how strong your headline is and how you can improve it. Strong CTA. The next point is a strong CTA. The main purpose of your CTA is to guide the user to take the next step. Please try and avoid using regular or casual CTAs like sign up or learn more. Try and think about what value you provide to the user most on this page and incorporate this into your CTA. As an example, let's look at Webflow. Their main header is short, snappy, and communicates exact value of their product. Whereas their CTA immediately tells the user what they can expect to do once they just hit the button. It's also super relevant with the rest of their landing page. Visual focus. Make sure you complement your messaging with strong visuals. Once you've created kick-ass content to convince potential customers about your product or service, you also need to convince them visually. Ensure that you have photos or videos that can help complement your messaging, and please avoid awkward stock images. They will know. The best practice would be to show your product or service in action. At Grow Tribe, we use either Canva or Figma to make the necessary product images that we need to complement our headline, subheadline, and CTAs on all of our landing pages. Pro tip. 
You can also create variations of your visuals and get some user feedback on them via Usability Hub to see which one performs the best. Another tip, videos work well as media pieces because they can explain a difficult concept very quickly and a lot more detail. But try to keep them snappy and to the point. Not everyone has the same connection speeds or attention span that you hope they do. The next section is your product features and benefits. We've seen many companies outline long lists of features that their product has or can offer to a potential customer. Unfortunately, a lot of these companies only stop there. They adopt more of a feature-led approach rather than a value-based one. Now, although users are interested in the elements of your product or service, they are even more interested in knowing about the specific value and benefits that you will give to them. If you don't know what the benefits of your product or service are, then you need to find that out. You can do so through customer research and finding out just how your product or service solve the main problem for your customers. Do you have a relatively new product? Then that's also fine. Check out this article by Daphne who explains just how you can scrape review websites of your nearest competitors and find out how they derive value to their customers with similar products. You can then use these insights as a starting base for your own landing page copy. The next section is about social proof. This can be in the form of reviews, testimonials, accreditations, awards, and more. What social proof does is help give you an external perspective about how your product or service is. By reading how others benefited from your offering, potential customers will be able to make an informed decision if the product is indeed the right one for them. There are a variety of review platforms in the market today, like Trustpilot or Google My Business, and these are some of the most popular ones out. You can also look for review platforms that are relevant to your industry and see how you can get featured there. At Grow Tribe, many of our users look at course review platforms such as Course Report, Springist, or SwitchUp to help with their research. This makes getting reviews on these platforms very important for us. Pro tip, it's ultimately up to you to decide if you want to get your reviews externally or internally. However, the main benefit of using review platforms like the one mentioned above is that you can piggyback off the network effects that they've already created. FAQs. Use a FAQ section to overcome any extra objections that you were not able to tackle in the features and benefits section. This will help you dealing with customer service requests and also cut operational costs at the same time. Finally, integrate storytelling into your landing page. Humans love stories. We've been telling each other stories for millennia. Try and shape your landing page in the form of a story filled with context, your main problem, your actors, and finally a resolution. I recommend reading Story Brand by Donald Miller on how to use the power of stories to portray your unique messages. Or check out the website mystorybrand.com for a free tool on how you can construct your messaging. Finally, here are some tips on how you can boost your conversion rate. According to Forbes, you have only seven seconds to make a lasting impression. This means that you've got to use every trick in the book to make sure that your visitors stay long enough to complete whatever action you want them to take. Communicate your value proposition clearly within the first few seconds or risk your visitors bouncing off to the next website. To give you the best head start, we've listed out some of our favorite favorite tips and tricks to level up your landing pages and increase your conversion rates. Check them out. So that is it for our top tips on landing pages. Don't forget to check out the resources mentioned. The link is in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like, comment, or subscribe for more. See you next time.